What's going on guys? How we doing out there TGIF? Made it through yet another week. What's going on guys? I'll ask the proverbial question of what's going on this weekend, but I'm going to guess a lot of it is I'm staying home, Bob. <laughs> yes, Alex, I'll take what do you do when you're sitting at home for forever for 400? Excuse me. Welcome guys. Welcome. If you're around, say hello. Tell me what's going on. Uh, today, as I say in the title, I'm going to be focusing on rigging the captain character. Excuse me. And rather than just recycling the uh, rig that I used for the uh, the red shirt, this is going to be a, a lot more detailed because he's going to be you know doing the cutscene stuff. So this is much more performance based rather than just running around doing some shooting and some basic. Uh, expressions, this one is much more important that I have uh, a range of performance that I can do with them. So, going to put a little more love into this one in terms of setting them up. But tell you what, we'll start with a uh, do an early bombing run here. Like so. There you go. Get anyone off the ground there to begin with. But uh, yeah, tell me what's going on with you guys. Anything new and exciting? Um, hmm. Uh, I do actually I added a bot. I added a chat bot. We'll see if it actually kicks in. I guess it works when there's text that comes up. But it'll be posting the fact that I have uh, beta keys. If you're interested in trying out uh, Trouble Troubles, uh, beta, still early, but uh, very playable, very playable on Steam. Uh, all you got to do is hit me up on Discord. You know, just ping me on Discord and I will hook you up with a Steam key. So, tell you what, I'm going to start the day off. Uh, no shark bait yet, so this might be a good time to go ahead and see if I can sneak, get closer. So I'm going to start by throwing the old disc with Penny. See if I can start my day off right here. Nope, straight in the dirt. Okay, bad start. Okay, we're going to try that again. That's not the way I want to start my day. I was up to 470. That was actually not bad. Oops, too soon. Come on, dude. You made the game. How do you not know how this works? Okay, we'll try this again. Boom. That's better. Okay. Do one more. Just get the ball rolling here. Wait for it. So I can at least try and get back to where I was. <laughs> No! Screwed up again. All right, I'll quit while I'm behind. Start at 470. I'm down to 440. I'll quit. I'll come back later. But, uh, yeah, tell me what's going on with you guys. Let me know what is happening. In the meantime, I guess I will focus on the work stuff. All right, so what I've done here is... Um, I'll just turn these guys off for a second. There you go. Is uh, Here you go. I have a reference object. This is uh, my artist Daniel that created this and with the base pose. So I'm just kind of laying the pieces in to match this and then I'll rig it up with that. I even dropped in a, a joint guide to help with it as well, which is pretty helpful. All right, so, and what I'll do is I'm, I'm gonna leave those off. Actually, I just turn this on one by one. So let's find out where he is. Oops, let me get my stuff out of the way here. That's better. There we go. So where is he? Oh, he's way over here. Okay. So I'm just going to drag and drop this stuff. Just place it in one by one. And once it all drops into place, then I'll start worrying about rigging it all up. I'm going to do something interesting. I'm not going to do like a standard approach uh, for some of this, uh, where basically you just have a series of, of joints, you know, and children of the joints, that kind of stuff. Because, as I talked about before, scaling a parent... In, in Unity, in, in Maya, and then importing into Unity, Unity kind of treats the scaling really weird in terms of like the children. So what I might do, especially for some of these key features in the face, is use a point constraint. So I can basically control the scaling individually. And hopefully that will get me some better results. The downside is that if I like squish the head, none of the other pieces will squish with it. So I have to go back in and manually kind of try and line it up and match that, but it'll be worth the, the trade-off 
least that's the hope. So let's see if that's the case. But first, just a whole bunch of lining this crap up first. Like so. That's good. It's not exciting kind of stuff necessarily, but I, I really do kind of enjoy doing this kind of thing. It's just it's kind of fun to see it come together. Let's see. I mean, a bigger pain in the butt is actually cutting them all out, cutting, chopping out the pieces, I think. All right, let me uh, turn him off since he's placed. And, of course, the occasional control S. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, not too much exciting for my end of the world. Um, picked up pizza last night. That was that was about the highlight of the day. I was getting out of the house to go pick up some pizza. So yeah, in this day and age, that's about as exciting as it gets, right? That was about right. All right. Um, I do have something interesting coming up, though. I joined this. Uh, remember, I talked about that. Uh, Jay's uh, game business online uh, matchmaking service. I tried that one, right? And talked about some less than stellar results. I mean, it was it had some good points to it, but overall, eh. But I joined another one, and this one, I'm hoping, is more focused on uh, helping me find investors for the follow-up game, right? Which I still, sorry guys, don't mean to tease, but haven't really talked about what that one's all about yet. But uh, hoping, that's going to be coming up in like, the 18th, I think. So that's what are we talking about? Uh, can't be that. No, 16th. So it's about two weeks away, and that one might be hopefully pretty interesting. It's kind of strange. You do like an uh, eight-minute pitch, and then hopefully you get some Q&A from uh, investors or publishers that are hanging out there watching, and then you gotta try and answer the questions, and hopefully you have follow-up conversations that that come out of that. So. We'll see what comes from that. Hopefully something good. All right, like that. Oops. There you go. Aside from that, not much else, man. Vegas is still pretty much a ghost town. Obviously, I'm going to stay that way for quite a while. You know... That's a big topic of discussion around here is when uh, stuff is going to return to normal. and I don't know. Um, next thing on my agenda coming up would be, you know, is uh, San Diego Comic-Con, which, you know, that's, I think I mentioned before, that's my driving force for releasing the game in the middle of July or, you know, July 10th was in preparation for San Diego Comic-Con, right? But the question is, is... San Diego Comic-Con actually is still happening. <laughs> and no one knows the answer to that. Uh, not even Comic-Con. Their answer so far is kind of an ambiguous, uh, we don't know yet. We're assessing. So I have no idea. Uh, it's, you know, it would be at the end of July. So I don't know if that means as everything's going to be sort of like calmed down by that point. Because that's a heck of a risk, man. That's 150,000 attendees. You know, all crammed in, in there. I mean, San Diego Convention Center is a big place, but you talk about having 150,000 people. Um, that's a lot of rubbing elbows. That is nowhere near a six-foot separation. So speculation is running rampant over whether or not they'll uh, delay it. But so far, no word. Yeah, that's good. I did a search on that just like yesterday, yesterday, day, day before yesterday, and so far, yeah, they're they're taking the wait and see approach. Um, I wonder if I should. I think I'm gonna have the hand come straight down here. I think, just I think for rotational purposes, it'll be easier and cleaner if I have the hand come straight down. So even though it has this nice angle, I'm gonna cheat it downward so I have a default of just up and down, and that'll be easier on the finger rigs. I think. So I'll be cheating that here in a moment. 
<clears throat> and here we got the second one. Kind of the same situation here. These guys are all going to be jammed together, at least in the beginning. Um, yeah, I mean, the hand's got a little rotation to it. I'll probably cheat that out as well. Yeah. When I did the uh, red shirt character, I was much more indifferent about it, right? It was just kind of banging it out. And this is finger two. So he's going to be here somewhere. But this one, because there's tons of performance going on with this, uh, this character and the number one character are going to be in all those cutscenes that I'm going to be doing. I got to make sure that they animate well. Not just run around and occasionally shoot and that kind of stuff. So that's why we're giving this one extra attention. All right. And here's our, yeah. So even this one, I even rotated straight downward. So that's actually not a bad reference, come to think of it. That's left. So I'm going to turn these three on for the moment. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a good reference to help this. Let's go to 10. Get him in front for just a moment. Like so. 10. I still got that, that Z-depth issue with Maya, which I complained about before. Not much I could do about it. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, cool. So I'll put those back there. And I'll turn them off. There we go. I got the hand there. Hand looks good. Oh, oops, we got the gun next. So I'll leave that on so I can get the gun posed as well. Like so. Yeah, also you can see the difference there. You know, in the pose that Daniel set up for me, it's at an angle, but we're going to have this go straight up and down. Let's see. And the finger is kind of like. So I think it's like this. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, but it's way behind. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll throw the gun in the background like that. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, I like that. Control S that. Next part. This is left foot. His left foot, not my left foot. Okay, bad joke. All right. Bye bye. Got that. Oh, big old headpiece. So we'll see if this kind of bites me or not. Um, you can see I separated the, the nose, the mouth, right, into separate parts there, the eyes and the nose, but I did leave this one little mark here, this line, but it's interesting. Uh, I, I, you know what? I guess that's probably the, the black mark coming off of the eye there. Um, yeah, I guess I did pull that. So I, I, may I may paint this out, right? The more I see this, the more I realize this is probably left over from the eyebrow. I was thinking it was the, the bridge of the nose, but that's actually brown. Um, that is strange. I'm not sure where that went. I might see if I can borrow that back. Or, I don't know, maybe not. Hmm. We'll see. I'll do a little play with it and see if I have to amend that. But right now, we'll just drop it into place. I mean, that's an easy fix. That's just going into Photoshop, saving, and it'll update itself. All right. <laughs> All right. Take another stab at the... Throw on the disc with the dog. 
Come on, Penny. Let's go. There it is. That's better. Okay, so heads in place. Oh, that's, whoops, there's a little bit of a pop there. Let's try that. Yeah. All right, and then this, I talked about before, you guys probably, if you watch this, uh, you heard me complain about it a bunch, uh, was when the jaw comes down, there's limited uh, back of the mouth to uh, the upper jaw. So there was like not much I could do with the red shirt in terms of really uh, expanding the mouth and posing. So my, my solution was to come up with a, a middle ground piece, right? That I can scale, right? Boom, like that. So if I need to go really big with the, the jaw, I can do that. That is the goal. So I'm gonna throw him in the background there, like so. I'll get the alignment exact later on, but general placement right now. Excuse me. All right, and here, so interesting difference here uh, for the jaw and for the, the the fingers, right? I subdivided the polygons, so hopefully I can throw in a few more joints and do some better deformation, especially the mouth, right? Because this one I'm going to be doing lip sync, and I gotta have some more motion with the mouth here. So my hopes are that by uh, dividing this up and then you know see if I can get away with three, maybe f uh, four joints so I have the one in the middle uh, that drives it or maybe even I don't know might even push it more than that um, we'll see maybe I'll start with the the key being here right and then let the other pieces hmm or maybe even just have a base that has no control but just a, a tool that drags it around and let these others kind of manipulate we'll see that's gonna be trial and error for sure All right. Put this up here like so. That's good. It's close. Doesn't have to be like pixel perfect. Our lower legs probably gonna be down here and this is left. So this is gonna be like right in here like that is that actually correct might be yeah all right oh let's hide him on oh, this lower oh shoot that's wrong Put in the wrong stupid place. No wonder it looked a little off. There we go. That's better. This one will go right here. Like that. Okay, that's a bit of a pop. Let's see. It's a little off. Let's see if I do the little bump. I love the bump control in Maya. That is just is an animator. That's like a godsend. You know, you could just hit Alt, arrow key, and it'll bump the selected item. You know, it's kind of like a Photoshop thing, but to have it in a 3D program is just mandatory. I don't know if there's any Blender people out there, but Blender people can let me know if there's uh, a bump kind of command like that too. So, for example, if I do this, oops. Come on. Oops. Oh, I don't have it selected right now. Hold on. Boom. Like so. Right. So it's just, it's, it's nice to be able to just like, you know, go one pixel over kind of concept, right? That's just based on your scale too. So, I mean, if you scale what far back, you're going to, you know, move it further. Mm -hmm. Conversely, if you zoom all the way in, you're just going to move small increments. So I like that. All right, this one should be easy to line up because of the pocket here. Done. Oops, turn it back. Ooh, 
a little bit off. Let's see if that's better. Yep, I'm good with that. And finally, yep, I'm happy. All right, neck. That. Really? You're gonna be a jerk about this? Come on. There it goes. Yep, that's good. And who's this? Oh, nose. Yeah, and I have a little drop shadow on that too. It's a, maybe a little subtle. I can maybe dial it up a little bit. You can see like just on the underside here, trying to match what Daniel did in his original. Try to replicate that. I've seen his version is painted directly into the, the jaw, so I had to do my own take on that. Oh shoot, I forgot to, I keep forgetting to do this, man. To put out word that, oh yeah, by the way, I'm online. That was stupid. All right. So that was nose. He's turned off. All right, so this is palm right hand. So I'll put that right about here. And then palm left hand. Same object, just cloned. Now this is one where I'm gonna go ahead and put this like that so I can line it up and have those fingers come directly off of there. So I'm gonna revisit this in just a minute once I get the other pieces in place. Pelvis. That should be good. All right, thumbs. So here's what I was talking about too. So the jaw, I've got like multiple, uh, multiple uh, polygons uh, in the the object itself. Uh, I did the same thing with the fingers, right? Kind of split the middle here, so hopefully I can get better deformation, which I don't have on the uh, red shirt. But let's see. Hopefully it'll work better. Because originally I wasn't sure how much activity I was going to have with the red shirt in the game. In hindsight, I wish I would have put a little more uh, detail deformation in the into the character, but you know, it just limited some of my animation choices, which is not a good thing, but not something that was worth going back and redoing. A little bit high there, so in this case, we use the bump. close how about that yeah there it is oops hide him for the moment got this one should get this pretty close just to begin with Oh, no, it's a little off. Yeah, it's good enough. And then finally, last but definitely not least, torso. Right? Ooh, not quite. There it is. All right, I'm going to control S that, and I'm going to version up. 
Let's go scenes, captain, setup. So when I screw something, I didn't say if, when I screw something up, I won't have to backtrack as far. So, um, to, uh, give me one sec. I'm gonna flip on my fan. It's getting a little warm in here.
been good enough with traction for you. And that's pretty rough, but you know what? I've even really upset. Things could get a whole lot worse, my boy. Hang on. Buddy, ain't done yet. And the monster baby already gets set. Come on in. Bud, you don't have to knock. My balls are a lightning rod for cock. He done me both, man. Take a look at this clown. Now Ralph's gonna wreck it. I'm gonna put you all down. Do a whole lot more than 20 bitches in the ground. I'm a Lord Vox, and I want to build this town. I was standing right here before the sun come up. I was around before your late grandpappy was a puppy. Gosh, darkness, it ain't good. Step on up. I've been chased by ghosts from a place for cock. You're weak. 
Alright, I have no idea how long I had no audio since no one's being chatty. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have no idea how long I've been just going... I have no clue. Probably the whole time. Oh, this is a winter episode, man. This is one to save and put in the dime capsule for sure. Look, he moves his mouth, but he says nothing for all that time. Okay. I'm a pro at this, you can tell. Okay, so where am I at here? Uh, Captain Arm. Left. Captain. Hand. Left. Alright, we're good. Thank you, Streamlabs. That was very kind of you. Okay. So we got a hand. We got that. We got a control S. Um, I guess I could just start doing the, the eyes and all the other components and the jaw. Let's see. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think how much I want to... Yeah, so this is an example where I'm not going to make uh, these other facial parts a child of the head because I want to have the ability to take the head and do some squash and stretch stuff on it and that th would muck up the other ones with the children. So what I'm going to do is let those actually uh, be uh, point constrained, right? Now the downside is the fact that means anytime I squash and stretch the head, I'm going to have to manually adjust all these other parts to match that. So I'm going to hate this later on, I'm sure, but excuse me, it, it'll give me better results. More work, but better end results. So I think that's probably a smarter move. I hope. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I'm just going to wing. I'm just going to let all these guys be separate components and hope I don't regret it. Um, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and just go right off the bat. We'll add the nose first. Create joints. And I have nobody selected, so he should come up by himself like that. Perfect. And think about where I want that to be centered. I'm going to say right there. <clears throat> Captain. I could actually parent him to the cog. Because the cog I'm not going to scale. So that wouldn't be a terrible idea. So that way... If I move the, the, the cog around, the face doesn't just stay. So that's that's probably a smart move. Let's see. Oh, because that's... Okay, that makes sense. Captain knows. Um, yeah, I'll leave it that naming. So can I just go and parent it that way? Yep, that's fine. And we're going to have a bunch of those that are going to come off the cog, but I'm okay with that. So, like I said, the, the key thing here is that if I don't parent that and I move the cog around, the face pieces will just remain in floating in space, which would be really bad. So I'm going to leave the cog selected. And, uh, okay, so the jaw, I need to turn that back on. Let's start with the upper. Yeah. And tell you what, we're going to hide the reference for a moment. And turn off the x-ray because I want to see this specifically. So I'm going to take better time to pose this now. Like that. It's a little off. I didn't notice that before. It's subtle, but there's a little separation here in terms of the thickness, the difference there. Um, not sure if it's an artifact of Maya taking the textures or if that's an actual issue, but I think I'll leave it this way, and if I have to correct it later, I'll correct it. Okay, so let's get the lower jaw going as well. So yeah, now I can like yeah, come all the way down here. And that's that's fine. Let the white just kind of fade out, but 
gives me a lot more uh, options now in terms of performance, especially with all these guys separated. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to hit Control S. And let me see how I want to proceed on this. Don't want to screw this up. This is, this is crucial right here because all my lip sync stuff is going to be part of this. So let's go ahead and make the torso go away for the moment. That's good. All right. So what do I want the jaw? Um, I guess I should actually make the, yeah. I'm going to make the jaw start right here. So let's go create joints here. I'm going to make this our pivot point for the jaw, like so. Do I still have Captain? Yes, I do. Jaw base. Now I gotta think about how I want to set this up with more joints. Let's go. I'm gonna hide the joints for a second. So I got that one. So let me think here. I think I want one up here so that way I can sort of compress that if I need to. So tell you what, let's go uh, create, just as a test, I'm going to add some locators just so I can kind of th visualize this and think it through. So one there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want it here. Here, here. Crap, I think I'm gonna want one in pretty much every one of these parts, so. Just so I can get real deep articulation to this. Um, that should be good enough for those two. I don't think I need one there. But I'll, I want one here, so I can mess with that part of the mouth and here now let's see do I want one here and here let me think that through for a second the reason I'm thinking this one doesn't because this is gonna be pretty fixed right I don't see this having much play and I can just let this one control the majority of that edge I don't know if that's gonna be the same over here guess I guess I guess I think what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna create a bunch of phonome type shapes in the end right that I can just cycle between and just kind of dissolve between so having a ton of these you know what I just talked myself into it might as well go ahead and just put them all over because if I do some preformed uh, shapes for the different mouth expressions it doesn't matter if I have a ton of joints because I'm not going to be messing with them I'm just going to be copying the, the keyframes I think and transfer them over that's my thought process there all right so how many is that that's probably all of them right that's uh <laughs> yeah 15 of them yeah it's one two three four five times three 15 okay so <laughs> so much uh plus the base too. Oops, bumped the mic there. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna have the base plus everything else spread out. All right, see you later. Let's do it. So we have our base. Um, okay. So then what I, I what I can do then is let the the uh, the base be the parent because I won't scale anything funky off of that. But I'll let all these other guys kind of drive from that point on. So let's go ahead and add joints off of him. Jaw base. And I should be able to go like this. Oh, let's show the joints again, shall we? So we can see what the hell we're doing. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have controls on this, so I guess it doesn't matter if he's... No. You know what? I'm gonna undo that thought. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me see. That is... Oh, no. Wrong way. Okay. Really? Just double check myself that... Yeah, no. Red is up. So, that's actually turn 90. That's okay. There we go. And I'll leave that like that. Okay. Good. That's just a good place to start. So now when I add these other guys, skeleton, create joint, off of the jaw base, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick this out because I'm gonna do this a lot here. Create joint. Should be able to center this better so it's boom, stuck to it exactly. Like that. Good. Just making it stick. All right. And he's getting neglected. While I'm working, I'll just go ahead and take another shot at this. Nice. That was close. Back up to 470, where I started the day. <laughs> All right. So let's create another joint off of the base. Drop it here. Okay, I tell you what, I'll come back and recenter these. Get a little faster here. Create. So, create off of that again. So, the job base joint that's feeding all these other guys, I'm going to have basically no control. He's not going to control any of these points. All of this collection of, of joints are going to be messing with this jaw. That is the game plan. The next one is going to go here. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to reselect anyways. Like so. Create joint. Here. Boom. Like there. Done. Where is this? He's in that mix right there. All right, last one. Right there. It's interesting how it kind of like arbitrarily scales up the joints. All right, so now let's go ahead and make sure these guys are all where I want them. Probably don't have to be this much overkill, but why not? So seven should be right there, like that. Done. Okay, those are good. So then what I'll do is just number these. 1 to 15. Oops, mistyped. Oh, 
I only got 14. Uh oh. Oh. How do you get off of there? That's not good. 14. Finally, 15. Oh, it's it's the bottom, isn't it? Um, shoot. I should rename this because I want this uh, lower crap. Should have thought that went through. There we go. All right, all those guys are set up. Should be good. And then I think what I may do is uh, when I actually attach the joints to the skin, I may set a weight value of zero because it's gonna miss guess so badly of trying to guess what joint controls what element. It may be better just to start from scratch and let me just control that. I think it'll probably make the process faster. All right, so that is the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn all these guys off. Oops, really? Base. Hide them for a moment. Do that the same here. Um, yeah, and then work on, where is? The, uh, I'll start with the uh, the back of the jaw, which I call inner. And this one, I just have this, right? There's no, I don't think there's any need to have any more uh, deformation to this. It, it, because it's connecting to the two pieces anyways, if I did any kind of deformation, it would just mean that it would line up and you'd have like these weird gaps. So just having him by himself, I think is fine. All right, so cog. And what do we want? Yeah. Let's go create a joint off the cog and we'll put him like right in the middle here. Oops. Get him centered like so. I'm good with that. Oops, maybe. Yeah, that's close enough. Captain Jaw Inner. All right, and then next we're gonna be doing, let's see, I'll go ahead and tuck him away for the moment. Hide him as well. And then Jaw Upper. Like that, and this one we're gonna have a bunch. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the uh, the base. Have a base control, and then all the other, which have just kind of had the gross movement controls, and then all the other children will do the deformation. Hit Control S. Haven't done that in a while, but I'm gonna duck out for a quick second. Hang tight, guys. Oh, did I just crash there for a second? Oh, yep. Had a little bit of a hiccup in the stream there. Modern days in imperfect internet connection, but I think we're okay. All right, hang tight guys, I'll be right back.
All right, and I'm back. Okay, so I think I'll tuck away some of these others as well. These other joints. <clears throat> so I can just see this stuff easier. You know what? Actually, let me just go down the line. Except for maybe the cog. All right, so who's still... Not sure who that is. That's the okay. That's the cog. You know what? Fine. We'll just go and do that. All right. So then the first question is, where do I want this? I'm thinking here for the center control for this guy, just for the rotation. Do I, or do I want it here? Maybe I do want it more centered like that. Hmm. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just thinking because I got to think about like when I'm doing the the lip sync and the articulation, where I want the pivot point to be, and I can't decide if I want it down here or here in the middle. I'm I'm guessing here in the middle. Hmm. Because the one down below, obviously, it, it it's a hinge joint, so it has to be in that corner, like I, like I did. But for here, I got a little more play. All right, I'm 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 going to stick with right here in the center. I'm going to go that route. Put it like right here. Yep. All right. Now I don't see it because I turned off the cog. So I'll turn it back on, whatever. Oops. Just did a new one just by accident. There you go. All right. So, and this is Captain Jaw Upper. And then we're going to have all the pieces come off of here, just like we did for the lower. Uh, it's going to be 15 again, I guess. Five, yep. So let's get to it. I did. There we go. All right. So now let's get them all stuck exactly right. Make them snap into the perfect point. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Buried in that mess. All right, now we're good. Let's rename this, all these pieces. Like so.
those are all named and good. So we'll go ahead and hide these for the moment as well. Cool. All right, so that should take care of the jaw. Let's turn them all on just to double check. Yep. <laughs> It's a ton of joints, but hopefully it'll pay off. Yeah, there's a 30 joints, jeez. <laughs> 30 joints. Considering back in the day, right? The old early quake days, I think the, the characters had like seven joints in the entire body and I'm doing 30 uh, just for the mouth. 31 if you want to count the inner piece, but. <clears throat> But it's fine. I mean, yeah, I'd beat a dead horse, but I mean, this is really crucial to have some really good articulation here. So I'm okay with this approach. Okay. So let's turn all these bad boys back off again. Like that. And here. Like that. Good. Go ahead and close this stuff down. Don't need them at the moment. So cog's good. All right, so we'll turn all these guys back on for a moment just to give us a point of reference. Oh, oops, oops. Too much. Not you. All right. And let's turn on our reference version again. Cool. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just thinking out loud here. If I change stuff up, if I if I instead of having all the, the facial pieces connected to the cog, if I actually do it to the head and just have some controls attached to the head to deform the head. Hmm. Or it could have a point. You know what? That's what I gotta do. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna reverse myself here just a tad. For all these guys here. I'm gonna unparent. Oops. Unparent. There. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do a point constraint for these guys to the head so that way it'll follow around uh uh no parent constraint if it, wait if i do parent constraint it won't do scale so we should be fine you can find out let's find out just a quick test so we'll grab the head we'll grab the nose constraint parent constraint right so if i grab this the nose goes with it if i rotate the nose goes with it whoa if i hit the wrong key Scale. Yeah, it does do the translate though. Crap. So let's undo that. Parent constraint. Okay, so let's try this again. So let's go head to nose and then we'll do a point constraint and an orient constraint. Just those. So now if I come back to the head, there. So if I move it around, the nose goes with it. If I rotate it, oh, that rotates in place though. Crap, that's not what I want. Oh crap, okay. Um, no, I guess, okay, it, it'll translate the, the position, but it won't change the scale. So that still might be okay. Okay, let me undo that. Point constraint. All right, so now we should be back where we were. Okay, good. All right, so I am gonna do, I, I will do parent constraint, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, let that be the driving force. That's fine. Um, let's 
So much spam. So much spam. Okay. Yeah. I won't parent it, but I'll do a parent constraint. I guess I could do that now. No, I'm not going to do that to the joint. No, because I need to animate it separately. So I'm going to have locators that are going to buffer that and accept all that stuff. That'll be coming up later. Yeah. Yep, okay. So I'm just trying to keep it clean. So if I have locators like up in this area, separate, right? And then these guys just sort of parent constraint to the locators, um, then I should be able to control that. Um, but then I won't be able to do the scaling without scaling the joint specifically, right? Huh. Okay. Well, I'll think on that, but let's go ahead and keep adding more joints in the meantime. All right. So nose, let me make sure that these guys are all nice and centered. Yeah, they are. Good. All right, we're good. So I'm going to go back to my concept before where they, um, they are not going to be parented to the cog or anything. At least not by default. We're going to do that through parent constraint when we start adding the locators and the controls and all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and let's focus on the eye and all that kind of fun stuff. Let's see, this should be in the same place, so I'm just gonna use the reference here. Cisco so skeleton, create joint. So say that's the eye and Shoot, and then I, I want to, yeah, there's no simple way to like deselect without just clicking something else and deselect that way. So if I go create joint, and I'm thinking the rotation here is gonna be maybe here. Right. So we go captain, eyebrow. And I was calling this left, which is backwards. I know that it's actually his right eye, but I'm kind of mix and matching left and right, ver the, the face versus the the hands and legs, but probably a bad idea. So eyebrow, eye, left. I'm determined to get back into the upper position, so I'm gonna keep trying that. Oh, I should look, shouldn't I? Yep, there he goes. 480? <laughs> 480. All right, I think that's a good pivot point. Let's see. Yeah, I think I can live with that. I left and with the one, that's fine. Okay. And let's just duplicate. What the heck? I write. He's gonna go right about here. It feels kind of like the center. Borrow this. Right. That feels pretty good. All right, and then let's do center. Put that in the center. And then. Yeah, that should be good. Control S that. Uh, same situation where uh, I'm not going to have any of these guys uh, parented to each other at this point. Um, I'm going to do that through parent constraint coming up here later on. All right. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah. All right. Just double checking. I'm happy with everything. Yep, 
and he's got the nice uh, actually I don't agree with the pivot point here I think it's more down in here but let's go ahead and turn on uh, wireframe frame unshaded why am I not seeing why am I not seeing the wireframes oh because it's a reference guy that's of course that's why so let's turn on your ears for a second ears there they are yeah uh, so let's see for head I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing I'm gonna keep them all independent so let's go ahead and create joint I'm gonna put him right here I'm going to call this uh, ear right, which I know is backwards. Oh, well. <laughs> and then, what the heck, we'll just duplicate him. Call him left. And put him, I think that's going to be, uh, let's see, maybe here. Just thinking in terms of rotation. Same thing, I might cheat him down a little further. That should be good. Cool. All right, who else do we have? We haven't done fingers yet. We got to do that, and we got to do legs. So let's go ahead and jump on the fingers. Let's do that. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> I'm catching up. So what, I'm like 80 points behind now? Yes. Getting there. I'm getting there. See, I even like a recorded uh, version of this too, so I can prove that I'm not cheating, right? If Sharp 8 ever comes back and sees me in the lead, I'm sure the first thing he's going to say is that I cheated, but I got proof. I got video proof. All right, so let's hide reference for a second. Because we're going to do different from what we had from reference. The hands, remember that kind of base position. So let's go palms. We'll start with the right. Let's see. Finger, right, right, right. Excuse me. Turn that on like so. And the thumb. All right. So we've already got the palm going here actually that looks a little low so I'm gonna straighten him out like so there bring it up a little bit make that the pivot point for him I like that okay so now for the thumb All right, so I'm gonna have a joint I think I'm just gonna go with two one here and one here and that should be sufficient Let's see, and then this one I'll definitely feed off of the hand. Let's see, hand right. So I'm going to put him right in the middle, like so, and then right here, like so. Yep, I like that. Thumb base. This is right. Tip. Yeah. Control S. All right, we're going to hide this away for the moment. Ow. Hide the thumb, get it out of our way so we can see these other pieces better. these as well so we can just focus on this one all right put it right up there yep that's good do we have extra joints there we go get them on top make our life a little easier okay 
So we're good with that one. Tuck him away. That is three. This is finger two. Let's see. Actually, wait, wait, before I do that, before this gets out of hand, Captain, finger three base. Right, that's a mouthful. Base and tip. Done. Good. Okay. Oh, shoot. Did I close that window? Didn't mean to do that. All right, we got it back. Create joint. Base it off of the right hand. So this one, we're going to say pivot is going to be about... You know, actually, it's probably not right. Um, shoot, I should double check that, probably. What I'm thinking here is I'm looking at the polygons and not the actual image. So let me hide the palm. And then bring that first finger back. Yeah. So the, yeah, the pivot's way off here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So the pivot should be about here. That's more like it. And then this guy, I'm gonna put like right about here. That's better. Good, glad I did that. That'll save me headaches later on. All right, so that's finger three, two right. All right. Let's go back to adding the joints again. Start with the hand right. It's going to be there and there. This is two. Tip. That's good. Yeah, see it's just that that's a good pivot point for that finger. You can see that's where the rotation would make sense. All right. And then finally we have one, right? Like that, okay, let's go back. And right, pivot feels about like right there and right there all right that should be good so oh let's check the thumb too since i'm here i fixed the finger and i probably need to do the same for the thumb so thumb right let's see if i'm right or not here yeah pivots way off so the pivot would be like right there I'll cheat it back a little bit because I want to give myself some room between it and the rotation here. And it doesn't matter, I guess, but... Good. Good, good, good. Glad I did that. <laughs> and the ear's just kind of floating in space. All right. So that's the right hand. Let's go ahead and do the same for the left. First things first, let's get the palm visible. And see where that is. If we like the rotation or not, not quite. Let's say like right there. That feels better. All right. And just to do a double check, I'll turn on all the fingers and thumb. Three, thumb left. That feels right. Okay, good. We'll start with one. And then let's turn the palm off. 
Okay, good. Let's add some joints. Oh shoot, wait, I didn't name this guy. Obviously we know it's one. It's base and tip. Done. Good. Just, it sucks to have a bunch of joints that are just called joint 12. You're trying to figure out who it's actually attached to. So it's good to keep the naming going as you go along. At least that's my personal preference. All right. Shoulder right, shoulder left, hand left. That's what we want right there. Put it right here. Right there. All right, so this is going to be finger one. I guess that's base, and this is going to be left. Yeah, that's one. Okay. Two. Oops, I didn't rename it. All right, we'll do that here in a second. Put that right in the middle there. All right. Two. Not exciting stuff, <laughs> and, but part of the grunt work that goes with rigging a character up. All right. And then finally, three on left. Like so. Yeah. All right. Add some joints. there and right there this is three oops got an extra T in there base and tip ah. Cool, we're getting there. Getting close. Gotta do the legs and the feet. And then we can start playing with the IKA and all that kind of fun stuff. All right, so let's turn our reference back on. Since this lines up so closely, I'm just gonna go ahead and let the reference stay on because I got that nice little uh, reference here for rotation. All right. So let's go create joint. Um, yeah, the only thing wrong here that Daniel did was the fact that you can see the, the leg kind of bows out this way. So, I mean, you can see that like it's, uh, yeah, the, oh, I guess it should be like that, right? Which would break the, it, it wouldn't break, it would confuse the IK, right? So what we're gonna do is actually come out further here. So you know what? I am gonna skip this. I'm not gonna do the reference. I'm gonna bring out the actual pieces. He's right in the general sense of it, but not quite perfect. Uh, so leg, this is right side. There we go. Because the idea is you want to have it sort of like it come start here and then the knee comes outward, like forward at this point and then back. And the benefit then is that the IK knows which way the bend goes by default. Otherwise, it can do some really screwy stuff on you. All right, so let's go ahead, create joint. Start with the cog. We'll start, make the pivot point 
Uh, let's see. Far enough back. Uh, shoot, I wish I had a little more rotation here. I guess I could. You know what? Come to think of it, why not? Like so. Just adding a little bit of rotation right from the start. So that way it's easier for the IK to, to solve what the heck's going on here. Cog. So now I can put it in the what I think is the best rotation point, which is about there. Down to here. And then finally back down to here. There. So now it's it's subtle, but you can see there's a little bit of an angle here. But that's enough for Maya to figure out which way the IK should be rotating. And that's what we're most concerned about. So the first thing I want to do now is uh, this is right. So let's get toes and feet right turned on and positioned correctly. Yeah, not that far off. Line that up a little bit like that, and I think. That looks like a good rotation point, right? And then for the feet, that's a little more ambiguous. Let's go name this stuff first. Just keep it nice and handy. Let's go, oops, really? I lost my clipboard value. So Captain, we'll say, uh, Leg upper right. Lower right. And we'll call this foot right. All right. And then you got one more, which is the toes. It's just Medi. What up, buddy? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm doing some rigging. Uh, we got the if uh, before I was doing the uh, cutscene stuff, so now I got to get the captain rigged out with a more detailed rig, so I can do some better articulation, much more so than the. Uh, you, oh, you love rigging? <laughs> Here, be my guest. <laughs> uh, I like the end result, but I'm not a big fan of the arduous kind of stuff that it takes to get it all set up correctly. Uh, but. Um, yeah, when it when everything clicks in place, the worst thing is look when I forget something, right? And you know, I, I forget about setting something up, and then come back after the fact and have to, yeah, skinning is kind of yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm hoping because this is 2D stuff, and because I have so many joints that are on top of each other, I was mentioning when I apply the joints to the 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 polygons with the skinning, I'm probably going to set a value of zero just so I can not let it guess because it, it'll never guess right. I'm looking at this and I think I forgot to put a thumb on here. So I gotta do that as well. But all right, let me add a uh, toe down here. Let's see, what I wanna put, I think maybe here. That's probably about the right, oops, right position for pivot. Yeah, I think it'll be good. What's going on with you, Medi? What's new? Happy Friday, buddy. All right, I think that's cool. You can live with that. Go Control S. Take these guys and hide them away. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, I am missing the thumb. I have to come back and add that thumb there too. That was stupid. I'll do that. I'm gonna do the leg first. So that was right, so now we got left. Captain, foot, left, and toes, left. Like so, looks good, all right. Let's add some joints. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing too, what I did before. Add uh, a little rotation just to make the IK behave better right from the get go. There 
That should be enough. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna just tuck that under. Oh, uh, you know what? Rather than do it that way, I'm gonna have him come up for a second. There, so I can see this better. Okay, that's good. I just wanna make sure that lined up okay. Excuse me. Okay, let's add some joints. We'll start here. Come up to here. Uh, shoot. Let's go x-ray. Good. Here. And then toes. I'll put those about there. Um, yeah, that should be good. Like that. Upper. Lower. This would be foot. Oops, fat. What's a fat? And toes. Good. All right, grab these guys. Go back to hiding them for a second. Oops, missed you. There we go. Okay. So let's come back and add our thumb. Let's go this left hand. Left. Left and then thumb left. All right, so let's hide the palm. So I can see that thumb better. Good. And let's rig it up. Let's see. Hand left, hand. There it is. Yeah. So right here and right here. That should be all we need. For joints. Let me double check all this stuff. Control S. Let's turn on a reference and check ourselves. Ears, eyes, two sets everywhere. Uh, oh, I was going to add separate control of the head, wasn't I? Let's see. Um. Yeah. I want to add at least, let's see, but the head is just one piece, isn't it? I may have to divide that up too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I'm thinking one, two, three. Yeah, all right. So let's jump back over into light wave one more time. Grab the head. There we go. And let's knife this puppy. Let's see. Not like that. Not like that. And then one in the middle just to help reinforce. There. So hopefully now I can get like a little play on both sides. Let's see, is that gonna be okay? Yeah, I think that's gonna work. So the gist of it being that I can sort of like, you know, get like some squash and stretch by doing that, right? Um, having said that, maybe I should do one in the middle so I can have the option of both directions. Just knife that like this, enable, divide. So I can, if I want to, 
I could do joints on here as well. Um, eh. Let's see, I have the head. I could do it that way. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll go back to the 15 again. Yeah. It's better to have too much than to too little, I think. I mean, once again, these are in cutscenes. It's not in the game. So I don't think it's going to be an issue of frame rate. There's not going to be that much ever going on. So I can kind of go heavy with the model and get away with it, I think. So thinking in those terms, let's go ahead and go that way. If it'll let me. Export. And this is... Heed. Yep. All right. Let's go back over to Maya. And so we'll rename this. And then import the modified new one. Drop it in like so. That should be about right. Yeah, good enough. Poke with Masons, look who's back. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Happy Friday, if it's still Friday for you, yeah? What's going on, man? What's new? Just rigging up a character that I'm going to be animating for the cutscenes. This is the captain that has a personal feud with the uh, Tribble, which he has to learn the hard way. You don't mess with the Tribble. Tribble's going to win. Uh, these Zoom classes are cracking me up so much. Zoom classes? As in, like, the, the software Zoom and, like, this is how you turn on a webcam or something? Oh, online classes? Okay, using Zoom? Gotcha. In spite of all the, the risks that go with using Zoom, apparently. But I digress. Yeah, so, uh, how so? Uh, just, I mean... People share the IDs of their class? Really? That doesn't sound too bright. And Oh, people read... Okay, that, yeah, I heard about that. Well, because, I mean, it sounds like it's just a number, right? So, I mean, it, it sounds like you just randomly guess a number, right? And you could just find yourself in a classroom, right? And then you just say or do whatever you want, do terrible things, and then, you know, before they boot you. But, yeah, considering how easy it is to sort of slip in there, I'm not surprised that that's happening. But, yeah... I, I read a story that Zoom has shut down all development, uh, future development, and focused exclusively on security. No, I, I, you got to feel sorry for him because Zoom is just kind of going, okay, we're going to throw this together. We're going to put it out there, you know, and just happen to create the perfect software for the perfect moment, right? And just blast it in the stratosphere in terms of popularity. And then that's when all the, the people started screwing around with it, right? Me and my uh, five friends raided some yoga class yesterday. I know I'm a horrible person, but it's so funny. I mean, this is the, the modern-day equivalent of crank calling, I think, you know, which I'm not saying I did this as a kid, but, you know, I might have picked up the phone and randomly dialed someone. Let's see, statute limitations. Yeah, they passed now, so, yeah, I did that. So it is definitely the high-tech equivalent of what I used to do as a kid. But, I mean, as long as it's not, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on what you do, right? I mean, if it is, a, like, a learning class kind of thing, and if you just sort of, like, completely rate it and trash it and, you know, belligerent, that kind of thing, that's kind of a jerk thing. But yoga stuff, yeah, I got mixed feelings about that. <laughs> All right, so head, so that's going to be the base control, and we're just going to do a whole bunch of head controls. So he's just going to control general position and not really do any modifications to the head. So let's just go that route again. All right. Control S that. Create a joint. Where's my head? I lost it. There. Yeah. Come 
Cool, we're good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's, oh, that was centered. You jerk. Really? Okay, then why were you going squirrely on me? Yeah, I'll fix it. I'm not sure why it adds that rotation there. Big time. The sad thing is that there is class for kids with special needs, and some of the, uh, some people rate that. That's just too much. Uh, they, they put effed up videos and stuff. Oh, the, yeah, that that is, you know, I, I'm not sure if that's even trackable, so I'm not sure if these guys can get in trouble for doing it, but yeah, that, you know, that's kind of crappy. You know, the old Jurassic Park line, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Paraphrasing, of course. So, uh, you got anything going on this weekend, aside from just more of the same? I mean, if you raid USA class and you're in Europe, I don't think you can get in any trouble. Uh, yeah, oh, that's, yeah, okay, totally valid point there for sure. Yeah, in the middle of a uh, global crackdown, I don't think anyone's going to be hopping on a plane, flying to a different country, just so they can crack in the skull for, you know, being a jerk on a Zoom broadcast. So, yeah, valid point. Yeah, so red is up. Just playing games, doing JavaScript, and sleeping. That's it. Not much to do. <laughs> yep. Well, I like to say that I've had this massive wave of productivity, but I'm, I'm still pretty much doing the exact same stuff I did before the, the virus hit. So, you know, my world has not changed pretty much at all. Except for the fact that my wife is actually home during the, the daytime hours. Since her job basically, like most jobs, got pared down. Since we're in such a weird state right now. But yeah, aside from that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what you see now is basically what you saw for the last, what? I've been doing this for what, a year and a half now that I've been streaming this? So yeah, not much. Not much difference. Has the virus affected you in a business way? Not really. Uh, not really. Uh, because all the people that I, I work with and my stuff all work remotely. So, I mean, I can still access everyone. And so far, all of the people that are contributing to the project are still healthy. Knock on wood. So, not really. The only thing that it... The only way it really does affect me uh, is sort of like in a... a you kind of in a distant sense but the whole point of putting a release date of july 10th was that that was right before the start of san diego comic-con right so you know because i have a booth there and my partners that have the triple rights have a booth there right we're we're basically feeding off of that in terms of fantastic expo exposure but we have no clue if san diego comic-con is actually going to happen right i mean it's it's scheduled for the end part of July, but no one has a clue. And right now, uh, San Diego Comic-Con is a little reluctant to say that we're postponing or canceling, right, for various reasons. So, you know, I don't know if the driving factor of why I said July 10th for release date is still a valid thing or not, you know? I mean, part of the key reason of doing it is, is to ride the coattails of that and the exposure we can get from it. But I don't know if that's going to be you know, reality. So, I mean, I'm still banging away in the game uh, as hard as I can with the mindset that we're still releasing, you know, in July 10th, but no. Aside from that, it is all the same for me. Um, you know, I'm fortunate in that sense that it's, you know, all the tools are still there. Every, the internet still works. Kind of craps out occasionally, but, uh, you know, no, no major effects, which is good. All right, so that's all fine. Let's see, I'll turn off the head here for a second. Like so. How about you? I mean, messing with you in any other ways, aside from just being stuck? Let's see. So I think I'm pretty good here. 
trying to think if there's anything else I want to add in terms of the joints, but I think that might be all I need. I think I might be in good shape here. And coming up at a good cutoff point. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> people say high temperatures will kill the virus, but in uh, Malaysia it is 93 and the situation is still bad. Uh, okay, well that's not encouraging, is it? Yeah, I mean that's that's one of the hopes. Like traditional flu, the the summertime kind of, you know, yeah, pushes it away. But yeah, if Malaysia is still getting zapped and it's 93, that's that's not it. That, that's not encouraging. That's not encouraging at all. Excuse me. Um, jeez, I don't know, man. I guess we just hang tight for as long as it takes, and I hope that some of the stuff gets resolved. But oh man. You know, it's one of those things, I'm sure in hindsight, everyone is going to, like, in history is going to basically, you know, second guess all the choices we did or did not make in the future. But right now, you just kind of sit back and go, okay, <laughs> let's hope for the best. All right. So let's go ahead and turn off the x-ray. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. We're coming up right in the four o'clock time for me which is basically about the time I wrap up and the next step is going to be adding a whole mess of controls uh, and then the, the skinning on top of that so I think I might just do a cutoff at this point and just kind of hang tight work on it over the weekend and hopefully have some more stuff to show on Monday it'd be nice to actually have the whole rig done so start doing the animation on Monday but I'm gonna have to do the uh, the uh, the number one character as well, get her rigged up. Uh, this doesn't get solved in the summer. The people will go, <laughs> just go mental, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not going to argue that point. Uh, I don't think anyone will leave houses, and that's probably how it <laughs> ends. <laughs> right? I mean, we it could have a thing where, like, we all wear masks in the future, right? 24-7 anyways. But, yeah, um, I'm... I, I'm fortunate that I'm comfortable with just working out of the house since I've been doing it for so long and I've got all the stuff that I need available to me so it's it's less of uh, an issue for me so I'm fortunate in that sense but yeah I, I can feel for everyone else that's wanting to get out and do stuff you know I mean I still go jogging in the neighborhood and that kind of stuff that's you know and grocery store runs but that's the extent of my going out at all do you go outside daily or you just go once a week for shopping yeah, so that's what I was just saying. Um, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, it's less about the coronavirus and more about what the outdoor temperature is uh, in my back, you know, if I'm feeling up to it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I yeah, I'd love I, – I got this neighborhood run I, I do. It's just a few miles around the neighborhood. And then, uh, yeah, the grocery store stuff, you know, I, I've got the, the, the mask and that kind of stuff because, you know, I, I'm in a household that's a little more vulnerable. So I try and be mindful of that. But I'm still shocked. Uh, I, I went today, just made a quick run into the store. I was really shocked at the number of people that aren't wearing masks still, right? Um, I don't know if it's just because of my area. You know, even though I say I'm in Las Vegas, I'm actually not in Las Vegas proper. I'm actually sort of like in a suburb that's uh, about nine miles outside of the city. So I don't know if it's just in my area, my people are kind of feeling a little more uh, bulletproof, right? And not affected. Um, I know in... The last I looked, the city of Las Vegas has, I think, 1,100 cases confirmed. So that's, you know, for a, a town of 3 million or whatever the, the full population number is, that's still a significant number in my books. But uh, so far, I, I don't think until we really get hit, you know, significantly like, like a place like California has or New York, right? Or at this point, uh, Michigan, I guess, is the, the new one that's getting hit big as well. You know, uh, Louisiana, Florida, some of those guys. Until we start getting those kind of numbers, uh, I guess people are going to be a little more cavalier about it. But <clears throat> I don't know, man. Fingers crossed. I mean, you know, I'm fine with the, the staying homebound for a while. But even me, you know, as comfortable as I am traditionally with just being, you know, homebound, I think I'm going to go stir crazy too at some point. And if I do, I, I'm sure most people are way over that point pretty soon. But uh, yeah, how about you though? Uh, you, you get out as well, or you, you just pretty much locked up? So I'm going to glass up one more time here. Oh, there goes the back. 
not sure how you're doing in your area, but I'm assuming kind of pretty much the same. Uh, you know, I got a few friends that still like to venture out, but, you know, I think the majority of my friends seem to be, you know, playing it safe, you know, which is good, but I, I don't know how, you know, if this goes on for another three or four months, yeah, I don't know, man, all bets are off at that point, right? Mm. Don't really have anywhere to go. <laughs> and even there were places that were, that are open, people under 18 can't move anywhere in Bosnia. Okay, yeah, I knew you were younger, but I wasn't sure of the exact age. Um, yeah. You know, exploding cars and all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> I remember that. But, um, yeah, I guess that is a problem. It's like, you know, even if you have the ability to get out and get around, that's great. Where are you going to go, right? I mean, you know, your, your choices are somewhat limited. So, that is true. Uh, lots of watching videos and that kind of stuff, you know, I'm just going to keep plugging away, man, until I get a finished game and hopefully get it out there and hopefully get some people to play it, you know, I mean, now is a good time to have a game out, I guess, because so many people are playing more games, but, you know, that's still, you know, even with a bigger market, I think it's still a challenge to get your game accepted, you know, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Poke with the Masons, thanks for hanging out, buddy. I think I'm going to call it quits at this point. Shut down. Go play uh, fetch with the dog in the backyard. Penny for real. And maybe go for a run in the neighborhood. While I still can. You know, before they start sitting out the police and tell us we can't do that. But uh, yeah, have yourself a great weekend. That goes for everyone else that's just hanging out there. Uh, good luck with the game. i see you next time. Uh, stream. Have a nice day. You as well, buddy. You as well. Take care of yourself. Have a great weekend. Uh, I know you're already into it. You're a few hours, quite a few hours ahead of me. But uh, yeah, good luck, man. Good luck. Stay safe. Stay sane. That goes for everyone as well. Uh, take care. I will be back on Monday. Uh, as always, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Banging away for a couple more hours. You want to come check out, see what the latest is, please do. Um, uh, also, by the way, I do have uh, Steam Keys available. For the beta version, I did mention this before, I think, but let me do it one last time. Let me, uh, and I don't have the link handy. I am so professional, man. I am just an absolute professional at this. So, um, just an absolute oop, there you go. Hitting the wrong thing here. Let me, there he goes. Just getting the link. So, simple solution. All you got to do is visit me over on my Discord channel. Uh, jump on the Discord channel, say hello to me, and uh, send me a request, and I will send you a Steam key so you can play a uh, slightly earlier version of uh, Triple Troubles, but you can actually play through all four of the environments. Give it a try, and hopefully give me some feedback. Um, you know, Feel free to tell me it's amazing and perfect. I love it. Just give me more of the same. I'm fine with that, too. But um, there's, there's, it's still rough around the edges, but you get to play the game uh yeah, it's pretty tight, but some more to go. But uh, so that's it, guys. Join me over in Discord. I will always be over there. You can always reach me there. Uh, otherwise, like I said, I'll be back here on Monday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, you guys take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic weekend and hope to see you guys soon. All right. Adios.